this is Tiffany from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Team and I have my variation of the Artist Trading Blocks from Sizzix to share with you. I'm using various Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products that mix and match and go together and each block has six sides. So this is my button side. I have glitter, a transparency, some stencil work, washi tape, and stamping. And I'll show you how to make the large one, this red one right here. So let's begin. Here are the main supplies that we'll be using to make our artist trading blocks. This is the main die. This is Eileen Hole's Sizzix 3D blocks or artist trading blocks. And we'll be using the little sizzles to create the die cuts. And little sizzles are mat board, especially made for these uh, Bigs dies. They cut right through. You can see they're rather thick. They're about, I'd say an eighth inch thick or less. And they cut through perfectly. So you'll need two of each size. This is the largest size that I'm going to use for the red and it measures at two and a half inches. The other die we'll be using is this Tim Holtz Alterations die. This is Butterfly Frenzy and you'll be using watercolor paper with that. In addition to those Sizzix products, you'll also be needing the gel medium, the red cherry lemon and blueberry gelatos, and the Stamper's Big Brush pens in magenta, chrome yellow, and cobalt blue. So before we begin our large red artist trading block, we're going to watercolor this paper using these primary colors. We have the red cherry lemon and blueberry gelatos, and you're just going to simply create a rainbow spectrum with them. The first thing you want to do is color all six of the faces with the red cherry gelato, leaving these ends completely dry. And allow Once your surfaces are dry, just set aside one side. We're going to work on a single square, this bottom one, and we'll work our way up. And I'm just going to mask this edge of the next face with post-it notes. You can use eclipse tape, you can use computer paper. I just like to make sure that it's down there. You don't have to do the whole side. And I'm going to use this stamp and a shade lighter or shade darker than the red. So this is the magenta pit pen and it's an India ink, so it will go on top of the gelatos without getting muddled. The second face, which is the one up from the stamped, is the button face, and this is super easy. I actually organized my ribbons on an old spice rack and I use these old jars to keep the different colors of my ribbons. So this is my red, here's my yellow jar for example. And all I'm going to do is use some dots, small, medium, and 3D depending on my button size and I'm just going to adhere them on that center face. There you go. 
Now we're going to create the third face, which is the washi tape face. You just take washi tapes that you have in the different shades of red, yellow, or blue, and you just put them right down. Super easy. So now we're so now we're going to move on to the other three faces. We're going to start with the glitter face and we're using the gel medium with a clean foam brush. And you're just going to slather it on. For the fifth face, we're going to adhere an overlay with gel medium. This is a discontinued Hambly overlay, but I've seen overlays from all the other companies. Um, I'm just using what I have on hand. And I'm actually just going to use my finger to apply it onto the overlay. For the last face, we're going to use this a stencil with our Stamper's Big Brush pen in the same color that you used in the very first step with the stamping. This is really easy. You just lay down your mask or your stencil, and this is by Colorbox. It's the Stephanie Bernard um, chevrons, and I'm just going to color it in the, that negative space with my Stamper's Big Brush pen. So here's my watercolor strip with my butterflies, and you just punch as many of them as you can, and then you can arrange them in a floating or flying pattern from block to block. Again, this was Tiffany from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Team showing you my variation of the artist trading blocks. Thanks for watching!